Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial showing you how to apply custom OSTs to your Flood Escape 2 community maps. If you don't know, fe2.io is a website that you can use while you're playing Flood Escape 2 community maps to listen to custom OSTs while you're playing the game. All you have to do is type in your username here and click connect. The website will detect what map you're playing in community maps and play the according song. But recently, Discord had a policy change that makes it so any of the audio uploaded through Discord no longer works, which means my old tutorial is now irrelevant. So today, I'm going to show you the updated version of how to play custom music in Float Escape 2 community maps. So here I have the map that I want to apply the new audio to. To apply the new audio, you have to click on your settings folders and then navigate to your properties menu. In the properties menu, there'll be an attribute called BGM. This first number here signifies the audio that will play in Roblox when not connected to FE2IO. I have mine set as zero because I don't want any music to play if you're not connected to FE2IO. And here I have the old Discord link which no longer works. So I'm going to start off by deleting this old link and then navigating to the new website. The new website is called jukehost.co.uk and it's fairly simple to use. All you have to do is click join us. Now we'll ask you to fill out your name. Obviously you don't have to put your actual name. I just put Mr. Longneck for my name and used a spam email for this. Now I already have an account, so I'm not gonna show the account creation process, but it's fairly simple. Okay, once you've created your account, you want to click the upload audio button. Then click the upload button and upload the according audio file. The audio file will begin uploading. Then you navigate back to your home screen view your library, and then click the copy link button. Once the link is copied, you want to navigate back to Roblox Studio, and now paste in your new link. Hit enter, and you can now update your map model. Now let's go test it in community maps. Alright, once you're in game, you're going to want to select the option FE2IO preferred on. This will prevent any Roblox audio from playing while you're playing the maps, so that none of the audios cross over with each other because it'll sound really weird if it does. Then you're going to want to load in the chosen map. Once you've done this, you can navigate back to FE2IO, type in your username, and click connect. Once you're connected, you can hop into the lift. And there we go. The music is now playing through FE2IO.